Hi everybody, I am Kimbo and I blog at agirlinagluegun.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to break up my cut files. I offer a lot of free cut files on my blog as well as a bunch of really fun bundles that are in my shop. I'll link to them down below if you're interested. But I get this question a lot is how do I break them apart so I can only cut out certain things. So like if you want to cut out vinyl, so I didn't want to cut out the addict in every single color. I wanted to break it apart and cut it out in each specific color. So I'm going to show you guys how to break those apart and I'm going to show you how to do that in the Silhouette software as well as the Cricut software. Now I don't know the Cricut software very well. I've taught myself enough to show you guys how to do this, but don't ask me any other Cricut questions outside of that because I don't even know. Okay, let's just jump right in. This is a question I get asked a lot is how I separate my cut files um, because it's a little bit tricky. I'll show you here in just a minute what I mean. But I'm going to first take this image. It's just a PNG. This is actually from my crafters cut file bundle. I'll place the link down below. It's got a lot of really cute craft cut files. It's one of my favorites. But it's just a PNG so I need to select the trace area. Drag a box over it. This trace area looks like a butterfly slash toast. I think it's a butterfly. Someone said it's a toast. Since my image is nice black and white, it pops up really good. Click trace. And now we have something that the silhouette will recognize and cut out. But if we want to separate it and cut these out of different colors, your normal go-to is to right click and ungroup. There is no option to ungroup with my cut files. It's just the way I upload, like the way I design them and upload them. So what you're going to do is just go down one to release compound path. Very easy. You're going to click on release compound path and it's going to separate any image that isn't touching. So this craft is one big cursive word, which means it will come as one big image. But do you see that I lose the inside of the R and the F? I'm going to click back so it goes right back to where it goes. So to be able to cut it out, you want to make sure that they're grouped together appropriately. So if I pull up the A, I can try to like put that back exactly where it is. Maybe I get it off. So I'm going to show you my hack. Are you ready? I'm going to drag a box. I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate the whole thing. Oops. I'm going to move it right off. Now this one, I'm going to take all these bottom pieces and I'm going to delete them. So now I have craft and then this one, I'm going to take craft and I'm going to delete all the pieces of that. So now I'm already broken up. I already have two. If I want to cut this out of one color and this out of one color, like it's pretty easy from here on out, right? Except for I still have not grouped this one back together. If you notice, these are highlighted, which means they're not one big flat image. So I'm going to drag a box over, make sure I'm picking up every piece, right, right click and make compound path. You can group it, but I feel like if I release compound path, I got to make it a compound path, right? Just seems, seems like it makes sense. Now right here, you can't resize this. I mean, you can. But if you do, it's not going to be sized appropriately with this. So you need to make sure that if you're sizing things, now that they're all separated, you are literally dragging a box over everything and sizing them all at once. That way it's you have things that match up. If, especially if you're layering. You don't want to accidentally size this down and then cut it all out and realize that these don't fit. Okay, so we have our craft. Now we're going to work on our attic. I keep saying attic, like attic of a house, attic. It's a hard word to say apparently. All right, so if you notice this T is one image. I don't have to do anything with the T. The C is also one image, it's done. Now this I has the dot of the I and the line of the I. So I'm gonna very carefully drag a box up and over, connect them, right click, make compound path and now I have my eye and it's just a rinse and repeat making sure to only grab the letter the parts of the letter that you want we're gonna be doing a video of how to cut out vinyl because right now this is gonna be a little bit difficult to try to 
piece back together. I mean, I did it. It's fine. It's a little puzzle piece, but we're going to have a whole video of layering vinyl and how to how to cut it out so everything matches up if it has to match up perfectly. But right now, we're just breaking it apart and that is basically how it works. So now I can drag on this A and cut it out one with one color. So we'll take everything else off. So if I want the A in pink, I cut it out and then I pull it off. Move on to my next one, cut that out in a different color, pull it off. Just nice and separated. Now this also works if you want, like if you like this craft, but you didn't want the attic, you just can delete this and then you can use this. That's kind of another option that you can do with it is really you can take off the images that you don't want to use and only leave the images that you do want to use. Um, another thing that we're going to be doing, I wanted to show you really quickly, is this one. So I did a whole bunch of craft supplies. It's all together. And if, like, if you want to use just the glue gun, we're going to do the same thing. Select trace area. Trace it. So if you want to use the glue gun, see how it's all one image. So we're going to right click. Release compound path. And then you can just delete anything that you don't want. Oops, see, I picked up the glue gun. Got to make sure to stay on your side. Okay, so now we have the glue gun. If you notice the inside of the cord, isn't attached, so we want to make sure that we make a compound path so we can size it up. Right, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to run over to this one and paste it. So now I can put my glue gun. I can put the word crafty with it. And then I can cut these all out of fun colors. So that is the basics of how to break them up. So you can kind of use them however you want. And that was the idea with these craft supplies is they're so fun and, but I know that not everybody sews or I know not everybody knits or crochets or whatever your pleasure is. So I wanted to give you all of these and then you can kind of just pull them apart and add the paintbrush into a fun, one of my other fun cut files, mix and match. So that's the basics of the silhouette, how to break them apart in the silhouette. So now let's jump over to the Cricut. I am going to start this video with a disclaimer. I do not know the Cricut design space hardly at all. I have taught myself like the basics because I wanted to make sure that my cut files were compatible and I wanted to make sure that I could answer a few questions that repeatedly get asked but for the most part it is just foreign and if you know the Cricut and you are watching and you're thinking this girl does not know anything about the Cricut design space it's because I do not know anything about the Cricut design space but it's a safe space no one judges if you think I'm wrong about something let me know in the comments because I am happy to learn but this is the way I have found to separate the images so you can cut them out separately Hopefully it's correct. It's really easy, so I'm going to guess it's correct. But I have just uploaded my craft supplies cut file. Excuse me. My daughter's feeding me milk duds, and so I was trying to hurry and <laughs> eat it be between videos. But so this is my cut file. I've just uploaded it. See, like you can see, this is the ones that I keep trying out. I've uploaded it. Push cancel. I've sized it down. And I'm going to click on it. And right over here in the bottom right corner is contour. And you just click on that. And it says right here, select outline portions to turn cut off and on. So it's very, very easy. I actually, since there's so many, I hid all. And then I just clicked on the glue gun because that's the only one that I want to cut out right now. But if you wanted to cut out the brush, paintbrush, you can click on each one of these pieces and then you exit out of this screen and it should be left with the two that you want, right? What I really like about this is that you can go back and they're all still right here.
trying to make sure I got them all. Okay. So now we just have the glue gun. So I do like that option. I love that once you delete, like even though you're deleting it, air quote deleting it, they're all still right here. Now let's take it a little step further and being brave. <laughs> I'm going to click upload. I'm going to select the craft addict. Addict. Oh, see, this is where I double click. I click it once, insert image. And I'm going to size it down because it's kind of big. Okay, so we've got this craft. It's the same thing. So if we wanted to cut it out, we want the craft to be all one color. We're going to click on it, push contour, and then we're just going to select all those. I forgot when I was doing it to put in the bottom of this F. So pretend like that's there. So there we go. We've got our craft. And then after we cut that out, we can go back over. So like you can move it. Remember, it's the same kind of concept though. If you resize this, I don't know how it's going to work with these. Like I said, I don't know enough to be comfortable and confident in what I'm telling you. So just be careful. But I moved this up. You can cut that out of white. And then when you're done, we can go back to contour. Oh, hang on. I got to make sure of my craft. Go back to contour. So let's say we want to cut out the white or the A in pink. So we're going to just select everything else. Now we have this A. And we can drag that up and cut that out of a different color. We've cut it out. We go back to contour. We now select the D. So that is how I have found to be able to break apart the cut files, cut them up separately. Hopefully it's correct. Hopefully no one from Cricut's cringing in their seat somewhere. But anyway, I thought it was really easy. I do like, I actually do like the option of like having it here always and you just kind of play around but I have a lot of questions about like, how do you do this and how do you do that? But I do think that contour button is really nice. I do love that it's like right here. I've decided I want the button now. And so you can just hurry and add the button instead of having to go find it because you've deleted it or whatever. So, okay. I hope that made sense. If not, leave me some questions down below and I'll try to get to them. Um, and if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss any videos.